Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything in between, to more Pokemon Crystal. When we last left off, we headed towards the Rake of Lage. Uh, the, the Rake of Lage. Hmm. Well, I done fucked up the intro. The Lake of Rage. The fucking Rake of Lage. What the fuck? We headed towards the uh, Lake of Rage, fought the uh, fought the Gyarados, got its scale, met Lance, who used to be the uh, the champion of the Elite Four back in Gen One. Uh, what is terrible, 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 terrible dragon types that only had one move, known as Dragon Rage. <laughs> it only does forty damage. Dragon types, they're so powerful. <laughs> what what are the dragon moves? Dragon Rage. <laughs> um. Yeah, uh, we invaded the hideout of Team Rocket, right? And we're gonna do some bullshit. It's been a couple of days since I played it. This game is going on way longer than I thought. And, uh, yeah. I am trying to think what I want to do right now. What was my plan? Oh, yeah, we're getting everybody up to level 38. That's what we're doing. That was my plan. And the statues activate, uh... Activate people will come and get us. Hey, intruder alert! I'm intruder. You have been alerted. Don't say I haven't warned you. You have been thoroughly warned. Uh, whoa. What the hell just happened? It's like my headset got disconnected or some shit. Rocky Grunt sends out a drowsy. But it's fucking three fingers looking like the penguin from the 2000 Batman series. <laughs> That has a good-ass intro, right? The Batman? The one that came in in like 2000, what is it? It's like 2002, 2003? Um, the one that's like, uh, the one that has the movie Batman vs. Dracula. That, that iteration of Batman. Right? The Batman... That intro gives me themes. It's like a proper, it's like a proper, like, noir intro, too. I like it, I like it a lot. Huge fan, huge fan, huge fan. Also, the way they did stories in that, the way they just did the stories in that show was really good, too. I know a lot of people don't like that version of the Joker, but I like it. I think that Joker's underrated. It's a pretty fun Joker. He's competent. He's smart. He looks goofy. Right? He can actually fight and fend for himself. Very acrobatic. And, so what? Joker's got a deep voice. And he looks like Rastafarian. It's awesome great and I think that series is the first time might have been the first time that the Joker has ever put on the bat outfit because there's like an episode where they're kind of like switching bodies you may it might have been a precursor to the Batman who laughs I'm not sure I don't know but hey all I'm saying is it looked it looked very similar it looked very similar sitting out that Grimer that slime boy gonna slime you up. Look at him. He looks like he's asking for the cookie jar. He's like, come on, man. I've been good all day. <gasps> Just give me one, please. Rocky Grind is about to sit out Rattata. Oh my god, it's a rat. Oh, shit. It's a rat. <laughs> <coughs> Man, I just came from, like, the doctor's day. I had to, like, give blood and shit. And, you know, sometimes it's, it's time for them to poke the needle in your arm. You know, right right directly in your vein. And then you're sitting there and you're like, please tell me this is this is someone who, who knows how to do it properly. Someone that's not going to make it hurt like a thousand years. Right? And... I got a bad one. I got a bad one. It did not feel good going in. Sometimes they go like, it's gonna be a little pinch, and then, you know, it just goes in, you don't even feel it. This one, I got a bad one. It was a bad one. I felt it. I felt every moment of it. I fucking hated it. And like, you know, they gave you a little band-aid or whatever, and you walk on out. It's been a bit. You know, it's not gonna bleed that long. It's a small little puncture wound. But, um, but I took the band-aid off, and I looked at it, and I was like, I'm like, that... That, that has swollen way more than I'm used to. 
Like, it's gonna swell anyways, because it's, like, directly to the vein, but it has swelled. Like, noticeably larger. And I'm like, I'm like that, I'm like, that, that lady didn't know what she was doing. She, she fucking, she cut me. <laughs> that reminds me, I remember one time I was at the hospital, right? And I had to, I had to get something done or whatever, and they had to make an incision, right? And then I was kind of, I was joking around with the nurse, trying to make it, you know, funny because I'm, I'm gonna get cut open, right? You know? And he's all like, ah, oh, is it no more here? Is it no more here? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's no more, whatever. I was like, go ahead, cut me, doc. He's like, well, I'm not gonna cut you. And I'm like, you're making an incision, right? He's like, yeah. I'm like, that's a fucking cut, man. Come on, just, just have a little fun here. I'm the one getting cut, bitch. <laughs> like, really? Like, I get that they can't legally say it, because if they say it like that, then you can, I don't know, you can probably, like, sue or some dumb shit, like, oh, they caused me harm, right? That's why they use technical terms and shit like that. But it's like, come on, doc, fucking, I'm not recording this shit or anything. Like, I already signed the paper that said that I fucking agreed to this shit. Like... Like, I'm gonna be hurting more than you anyways. So just fucking crack a smile, bitch. <laughs> that dude, like, I just kept saying it, and that dude did not want to cooperate with the joke. He didn't want to be part of the bit. And I'm like, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, fucking Christ. I'm like, come on, man. Come on. Laughter's the best medicine. You're not really helping me out right now. You're making me want to put a bullet in my mouth. <laughs> And then Guy Theory put hot sauce on the bullet as he slowly cried and said, One more trip to Flavortown. <laughs> One last trip to Flavortown. <laughs> oh god, that meme is so fucked up. But it's hilarious though. You know, as they, you know what they say, comedy does come from tragedy. What the hell is that noise? Oh, it's my dog whining. He's in the cage. He's in the cage. I should let him out the cage. But I know if I let him out the cage, he's gonna start running around all wildly. And it's gonna be a while for me to get him to, like, calm down. So now, you're gonna sit in that cage. You, you've you ate, you went outside and everything, you're gonna sit in that cage. You got, you got nice pillows in there. I know you don't like being caged up like some sort of animal. But you're a fucking animal, so deal with it. <laughs> it's my turn. There's no escape. Technically, humans are animals too. Aren't we all caged up in this thing we call society? You got real there for a second. This is what happened when you let me come to it. This is what happened when you let me keep talking. You gotta stop me at some point. You gotta give me, you gotta give me like a stop sign. You gotta be like, uh, 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 uh stop it. I'm getting too real out here. I'm supposed to be playing fucking Pokemon, watching a weird frog. Chameleon thing, tackle a bat, <coughs> hit it with some leaves, and the bat goes, oh, I got a paper cut. Alright, I might let my dog out, he's, he's crying a little bit too much. But then again, it's not like real cries. It's like pity cries. It's like, come on man, don't you feel bad for me? And it's like, I really don't. I really don't. Especially when you start pissing around my house. I really don't feel bad for you. Stop whining. I hear you. Shut up. I hear you. I see you. I can see you. I'm here. You're there. I know you know that I know. And you just keep going. You're still going. You're crying like someone's abusing you. <laughs> You're fine. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna get out the cage, you're gonna run around, make a shit ton of noise, and then once you settle down, you're just gonna go in your dog bed, and you're gonna sit on it. Guess what it is? It's a giant pillow. You got a pillow in there. It's softer than your dog bed, because Lord knows you done fucked it up. <laughs> like, fucking come on, man. Zero, be quiet. Shut up. <laughs> This is, this is what I have to deal with behind the scenes. If it's not this, then it's me trying to get some sleep and he's like, fucking screaming at me. Right? Or he's like, just running, just running all over my bed. And just like, using me as a trampoline. I'm the one who gets abused in this relationship. T. 
Team Rocket Grunt's gonna use a Zubat. Oh man, I would never have guessed. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not me, not this guy. How, how, how bad is Cut gonna hurt you? Is it gonna hurt? Nah, that's alright. We'll use Cut. Cut's alright. Isn't Cuss... Cuss. <laughs> Meganium used Cuss. Zubat took like 50 emotional damage. Uh, it's my turn, there's no escape. Um, isn't Cut, like, base power 40? No, no, I, mean, I want to say it's base power 20. Might be 30. I don't think it's 40, though. I think 40 is too high. I know 40 is what they're gonna change, uh, not in Gen 3, but, like, uh, Rock Smash or whatever. That's, like, base 20. It's, like, really bad in Gen 3. I don't even know if Rock Smash is in this game. Um, probably not. But, um... I don't know, Rock Smash is really bad in Gen 3. And I think Gen 3 is the one with, like, the most HMs? Which, fucking... I just wanna know... I just wanna know who's the... Who's the real, like... Who's the true dickhead? That came up with... Oh, man, yeah, you need HMs. And you can't... You can't, uh, forget them. You gotta go to Move Deleter. And all this other shit. Why? Like, who's the idiot that made that shit extra difficult? For what reason? And made each and every one of those moves, like, not viable. Except for, like, Surf. Can you hear my dog? Can you hear him, like, getting louder? He wants to be noticed. He wants to be noticed. Like, he was, first he was just kind of, like, lazily laying down and, like, crying and whining. And now he's, like, getting up. And he's like, he's getting crazy. He gonna, he's gonna start barking in a couple of seconds. He went from puffing to whining, right? And now he's gonna start barking at me. I'm gonna keep ignoring him right now because I want, I want, I want you to hear him. I want you to hear him bark at me. This is what's gonna happen. This is a war. This is a war of attrition. I'm not gonna lose. I refuse to lose. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna be on the winning side. You're gonna be fighting on my side on this war of attrition. The more I talk, the more I feel like I sound like a fucking Rick and Morty episode. Holy shit. I'm just like spouting nonsense. What the hell? I knew there was something up with these lines, I just forgot what it was. Gotta fight fucking Voltorbs and shit. Oh, wait, he got quiet. I think he gave up. Or he's getting ready for a super move. Once he starts screaming. Oh my god. I forgot what that war cry is. Oh, it's a <laughs> war cry. Pokemon cry. It's a Geodude. It's been a while. Geodude. He's getting louder. He's getting louder. He's getting way louder. <laughs> <coughs> Does this count as abuse to my dog? Am I emotionally abusing him? Am I neglecting him? I think not. He's super comfy in there. He's super comfy in there. He's just being a little... He's just being a little bitch. That's right, I said it. I got super repels on. There we go, because I don't want to fight no fucking wild Pokemon. Nope, you just kind of... You're just forced to fight them. I think... I'm going the stupid way. Right? I have a feeling that I'm going the dumb way. But for some reason, I feel like going down here is going to get me an item. He's whining. He's whining. He's getting louder. That dog? It's getting loud. <laughs> Geodude. Geodude. Constantly ready for, for a rock, paper, scissors showdown. But he's always going to choose rock. You see him? I mean, why wouldn't he choose rock? I would choose rock every time. People think rock is the weakest. They think it's easy, right? Everyone goes for paper. Right? But guess what? I already got you in my mind game. I lied to you. I would never use rock. I'm not a fucking idiot. I would never use rock. Fucking scissors all the way, bitch. <laughs> never expect it. Who would start with scissors? Who would do scissors a third time in a row? Who would... What monster would do it ten times in a row?
Oh my god, I took one step. Come on, man. Could have let me. Could have let me live with that one. It's a coughing. Hey, look, they fixed his sprite in this game. Oh, he's getting loud. He's getting loud. Do you hear him? Oh, he's starting to fucking bark at me. He's not fully barking yet, but he's getting. He's getting there. He's getting the feeling. Fucking sludge, are you kidding me, you son of a bitch? Can you hear this dog? I'm let him go. I'm let him keep going. I wonder how far I can take this. I don't know if this counts as good commentary or bad commentary, but all I know is I'm enjoying it. Oh, he's getting mad. <laughs> he's getting mad at me. <laughs> See, this is the fun that you can't have with a cat, because if a cat gets mad at you, it's just gonna scratch you and give you a, give you a sickness with his dirty ass nails and mouth. I used to own cats. I loved them, right? But I was think I was I was actually thinking of getting another cat recently, but then like one thing came to mind that made me like not want a cat so bad. And it was the fact that it's like eh dogs, you know, depending on what kind of dog you got, it can either be really quiet and clean or it can slobber everywhere, right? You know. And you know, depending on how you train your dog. Cause you gotta, you gotta be a good, you gotta be a good owner. You gotta train him, right? Um, but like, you know, a dog can be pretty nice. Some people get dogs, but they just don't have the patience to train them, so then their dogs become fucking nightmares, right? Either that, or they have no way to show that they're the dominant one in the relationship. So, their dogs become nightmares, right? But, you know... Dog runs around your house, whatever, you know, sometimes mistakes happen, it'll piss and shit on the carpet, whatever, you clean it up, you clean it up, you fucking, you fucking blow a mine gasket or some shit, and then you, you try not to stroke out for the day, right? But, the next day, it'll be gone. It'll be clean. You get a cat, and this has never happened to me, luckily every cat that I had was, was excellently trained, and I know, I know what you're saying. Like, well, you just put the litter box out there, it's fine, They're, they automatically know to go to it. It's like, no, 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 some cats will, to spite you, just not use the litter box, right? Um, but I've never had that problem, luckily, with any cats that I've owned, and I've owned a lot of cats in the past. Uh, but, one thing that got me, like, that my mind just went was, was, the one day, the cat will just feel it will just be feeling itself and then it decides to piss anywhere except the litter box that's it not just your day is ruined but probably your whole entire year getting cat piss out of shit is so annoying and difficult you don't want to deal with that at that point you might as well just throw out whatever item the cat pissed on because it's it's just it's ruined. It's ruined. Cat piss is so fucking potent. And <coughs> I had a friend that's like, nah man, you can totally clean it out. And I'm like, yeah, you can clean it out, but it's gonna take you forever. That's like multiple treatments. By the time you do that, that item is gonna be ruined. It's either going to be a different color due to all the fucking bleach and pneumonia or whatever the fuck you used, right? Or, like, you know, just listen. If your cat ever pisses on your bed, that's it. That's it. It's a wrap. <laughs> I'm like, if the cat ever one day starts feeling itself, like, way too much... And it just pisses on your bed. That's it. It's over. It's done. Now you're gonna drop like a thousand bucks on a new bed. Or whatever the fuck a mattress is not. I don't fucking know. I feel like it's a thousand. Inflation's a bitch. Right? It's probably like, you know, depending on what what bed you get, you know. But if you want like a... Yeah, if you want, if you want a really good bed, you're probably gonna be dropping like 800 and if you're someone who likes a big bed, you're gonna be dropping a thousand or something. And if you're someone who who sleeps with a with a significant other, you're gonna you're gonna be dropping a lot of money on a new fucking bed, right? 
So just <laughs> like that that moment in my head, I'm just like, oh man, no, I don't. I never had that problem with a cat ever, but if it ever happened, I would lose my fucking mind. And then you know, well, for me anyways, I would still be having a dog too, along with a cat. Which I've had, I had dogs and cats at the same time before, wonderful. <coughs> First dog I ever owned was a Siberian Husky. And I was an excellent trainer. And I had a cat with it too. Pretty, pretty, I would say pretty... Pretty, uh, not advanced. I don't want to say advanced. A more difficult than normal dog to have as your beginning dog, right? A Siberian. But, um, like, those two were close together, ate out the same bowl from time to time, right? It was fine. But, all I know is if a cat ever pisses anywhere in my house, uh, my dog, which is a boy, he's gonna just be like, well, I own this place, so now I gotta start marking some territory. And since the cat piss is gonna persist, like, forever, he's just gonna keep going back for treatments. <laughs> my dog doesn't do that on the regular or anything like that. He doesn't even really do that at all, right? I think there's only one, one time, one time, uh... Like one instance where he does that and it's like my mailbox for some reason They're like a metal ma mailbox and for some reason he just loves going over there And he's like you see this bottom of this mailbox is mine. I'm pissing on it And every time I see him walk over there. I'm like hey you Cut that shit out. You stop it. And he looks at me and I'm like, yeah, you know what you're doing and he goes okay But when you're not looking This is mine Right <coughs> Oh, that and like a very specific tree. He loves this very specific tree. I'm like, alright, you can own that one. Because he's like, if I can't have the mailbox, then I'm owning this tree. Every squirrel that comes here is gonna know. This is my tree. Your house? I... Your house? I own it. Right? Anyways, Lance is talking. Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Here, give them some medicine. Fire. Let's get it. Let's give it our bet. Oh, I, I didn't even fucking read it correctly. I'm sorry. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> this has gone on for too long. Because I know I gotta do Kanto right after this. And when I think about it. See, if it was the remake, it wouldn't bother me that much. Because, like, yeah, of course, whatever. Do Kanto, get, get through it, right? But since it's. Since it's, like, original. Well, not original, because it's, it's the ROM. But, um. Again, it's called, what was it called? It's called Perfect Crystal or something like that. But, uh, since it's, you know, mostly original Gen 2, it's just like... Oh, it's just not what I want to deal with right now. <laughs> but hey, um, not sure if I said this in this playthrough or not yet, but at least another playthrough's been finished in the meantime. A bunch of playthroughs been finished in the meantime. Um, but one of the most recent ones that I finished, which probably won't get uploaded as fast as I want it to, mainly because I think I want to... I think I might get some commission work done for it. Um, is uh, Resident Evil 5 Co-op. Man, that game went on for fucking ever. Resident Evil 5 went on way longer than, than I thought it would. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. You know, I said my piece at the end of the at the end of the playthrough. My co-op partner said their piece at the end of the playthrough. Right? And then of course when we when the time is right, at some point gotta tackle Resident Evil 6. And then uh yeah. Also next month, fuck it well at the time of this recording, next month, uh Resident Evil 4 Remake's coming out, holy shit. And I'm sitting there and I'm looking at it and I'm like, Oh, hey Lance. It takes two passwords to get into the boss's quarters. Those passwords are known only to a few rockets. The rockets there very graciously told me so. Fire, let's go get those passwords. Alright, I will do that. Uh, the guy in the cape is incredibly tough. Alright. Uh... Yeah. I lost my, I lost my train of thought. Um... Oh yeah, fucking, uh, since Resident Evil 4 is coming out next month, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna do something for it, because, I mean, 
Starter and Resident Evil 4, man. But, like, also... Resident Evil 4 is coming out way faster than I than I feel like. <laughs> well, I don't want to say that I feel like it should, but I'm not ready for it yet. Mainly because I wanted to do a, a, a playthrough of Resident Evil 4 VR, right? Because that's worth the look, too. But then I feel like if I did Resident Evil 4 uh, Remake first and then VR, it would kind of lessen the feeling of it or something, you know? I like I feel like it would be the wrong... It'd be like the wrong uh, order to do things, right? I don't know. I got like eh, I got like twenty something days until Resident Evil Four Remake comes out. Maybe I can maybe I can spit out a VR playthrough of it. But then also I'm just I don't like I don't like the less progress in my face. I don't want to deal with that shit. I hate spidery things. Ugh. And in VR, those little fuckers like crawling all over you want to grab your face and shit, and I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Ah. I'm gonna fucking cry playing that game. You know, you're gonna hear a grown ass man cry. A mere tactical error cost me. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy how that happened. That's so insane. And then brain. I'm gonna have Miles Miraculous do it because I feel like if I don't level him up right now. Also, he's a bug type, so he levels up pretty fast. I feel like if I don't level him up right now. Um. Later on, when I try to level him up on tougher enemies, I feel like he'll just get, like, one shot. Probably not, right? But, you know, in my mind, I'm like, bugs are gonna get one shot. That's a cool animation for Ekans. I like that. Made. My. Day. Level 18? What? <laughs> I just realized that. But we do got Nightshade, so Nightshade's pretty clean. It's gonna help us can help us a lot. Rap, you miss. Haha, <laughs> it's a rap. Uh, yeah, I can hit you with poison sting. That should be able to kill you. Oh, fuck. I was wrong. Gets a critical and just ends my life. Man, also Pokemon Day is coming out. Oh, shit! <laughs> Sorry. I just realized something. As I'm like, as I'm like, yeah, Pokemon Day is coming up or whatever, right? I just realized, uh... Later today, there's the state of play, which, I mean, I mean, like, PlayStation's gonna do their state of play, right? And they, and surprisingly, they already said what they're gonna talk about. I think they said they were gonna talk about, like, four PlayStation VR games, um, well, PlayStation VR 2 games, and, uh, and they said they were gonna talk about some indie games, uh, I think they might talk about maybe one, two, or three like, not AAA titles, but a little bit more profile than indie games. Um, and then they definitely said that they'll do, like, 15 minutes of, uh, of quote-unquote in-depth, uh, uh, what was it called? Suicide Squad? Killed the Justice League, right? Which, I think that's the one, that's the part that I'm most interested in, right? Mainly because... Mainly because fucking, like... Is Poison Sting gonna kill you? It should kill you. Um, mainly because, like... Dude, my feelings on that game has changed so fucking much. Like, vastly. Like, like it's been up and down and all over the place. It went from, oh, this is gonna be a piece of shit. It's a quick cash grab for, like, for the Suicide Squad movie. You know, the, the soft reboot they did or whatever. Um... The one with John Cena and shit like that. Uh, Bloodsport and Peacemaker. Uh, but... I'm like, oh, it's just gonna be like, a not a tie-in, but like a quick cash grab to play off of Avengers or whatever, right? But then Avengers was like dog shit, and then on top of that, Suicide Squad, the movie itself, I think, got delayed. So then it delayed the game, and then they didn't release them at the same time, so like... So then I'm like, oh, well, Rocksteady now has more time to actually make a good game, right? Instead of having to, like, you know, make it come out around the movie. And then I'm like, okay, now it's gonna be great. And then, like, just recently, something came out that's like, oh, it's gonna have a battle pass. And I'm like, ah, oh, fucking Christ. And then, like, a screenshot you see is, like, it's, like, uh, people lobbying up for, like, an individual, like, uh, level, right, 
and then there's like a fucking battle pass in there and shit like that, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh man. I'm like, oh, come on, man. I'm like, you are gonna ruin it, aren't you? It is gonna be bad, isn't it? I'm gonna use Nightshade. Does that affect? Okay. So when it transforms, it takes the typing too. Alright, cool. Um... But yeah, I'm like... I really just need to see... Cause like, they also showed, like... Not too much gameplay, but like, light gameplay of it. Right? And it looked very nice. It looked really good. But like... Once you say, like, Battle Pass model... It's like... You know... Companies will go, oh, well, it's only cosmetic. And it's like... It's like, you can say that all you want, but at the end of the day... Like... The battle pass... The fact that there's a battle pass there is still gonna affect how you play the game, because now you're gonna make it grindy as fuck. Or you're gonna ask for people to pay money for shit. So it's gonna be like a... Well, it's gonna be only cosmetic, right? But it's like... Dude, I don't fucking... I just don't. Man, <coughs> I hate it. I hate so much. Like... Like, I know a lot of people hate microtransactions, right? And I hate them too. But at least, you know... At least fucking a microtransaction was like... Alright, you buy one item, here you go, for like two dollars or something like that, you know? Um... Whatever, as long as it's not pay to win, whatever, right? At least you know what you're getting. The motherfucker who came up with, like, the battle pass system... ...is, like, a real evil bitch. Like, let's just be honest. Because... ...now instead of, like, playing a Call of Duty game or something like that... ...and, like, progressively leveling up and getting whatever... ...it's like... ...well... ...you play the game, and then the battle pass, you know, you advance in it... And here's your rewards for leveling up in the battle pass. But if you really want the, if you really want the notos, notable stuff, you gotta pay us for to cash in on your level ups. And it's not, and it's not like you buy one battle pass, like it's a piece of DLC. It's like it shows up and then it's gone after a month or so or some shit like that. And it's like, what the fuck? So if I bought the battle pass. I still have to work super hard to get all the shit in the battle pass, and if I don't do that in a meaningful time because I'm a fucking adult with a job or some shit, then it's like, oh well, you lost your chance for those great items in the battle pass, thanks for your 20 bucks, dipshit. It's like, what? Like, that's so stupid, and the fact that people fucking actually buy that shit, it's, it's, I don't get it. At least in a fucking loot box, like, loot boxes are pain in the ass, they're evil too, but, like, at least in a loot box, it never goes the fuck away, right? Well, I, I guess, it, I guess for, like, event special things, but, like, every game has an event special thing, whether it's paid for or not, right? But, like, damn, dude, <laughs> fuck it. Uh, did I get the password for these fuckers? I, I fought you, right? Yeah, I did fight you. Where the fuck am I supposed to be going? Oh, there's a... There's stairs up there. I didn't see that. Well, I did see that, but I got confused for some reason. Do do do. Mm-mm. Bum bum bum. Yeah, but... Like... Every time I see Battle Pass, I just wanna fucking... I just want to break the game. I just want to fucking take the disc and snap it in half if I own the disc. If I own the digital version, I just want to fucking, like, upload malware to it or something. I don't know. Fucking... I hate it. <coughs> I also hate fucking... I hate's a strong word for this one, but, like, live service free-to-play games... Because half of the time, they don't really work, and then, like, for the people who do actually enjoy it and play it, um, they're gonna have, you know, they're gonna go away real fast because, like, it's not making enough money. It's like, sorry for liking the game. Sorry that you like the game that no one else likes. We're just gonna take it away from you now. Instead of just, like, keeping it up there. Right? But, I don't know, man. Oh my god, you're getting fucked up by Rattata. How do you feel? How do you feel, Maractus? 
Damn it. <laughs> Every time I fucked you up. But I am paralyzed though, so that that played a played a major role in that piece of shit. Oh, don't get messed up by the zoo bat now. Hit it with a nightshade. Make you think about it, it's nightmares. He's like, oh, I didn't know I was, I was scared of of corn. It's corn. A bank lump with knobs. It's got the juice. <laughs> it's got the juice. It's got the juice. Can't imagine a more beautiful thing. Man, fuck him. I really like. I really got like a mean ass craving for corn, but I can't eat it because of my diet. So fuck, right? But man, so you know, you know when like you have these foods that you've eaten all your life, right? But like one day it just hits, and you're just like, you know what? I just want, I just really want this. I really just want more of it. That's me with corn right now. Like, I've ate corn before, you know? Fucking, it's corn, right? The lump with knobs, it's got the juice. But, um... I don't know what the fuck happened to me recently. I'm just like, yeah, corn, and I'm eating, I'm like... This is really fucking good. I really like corn. <laughs> I really like corn. Oh, you know what it is? I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is for corn specifically. It's because, uh, like prior to that, I was still doing my diet and I was eating very clean. And since I was eating very clean, there wasn't like any like crazy starches or like sh or like corn syrups or anything like that. So when I finally got to just like eating corn, having like corn for like the one time or twice or whatever, I'm eating it. And I'm like, fucking love this. <laughs> my mind's just like. You love corn, and I'm like, I do, I do love corn. And then fucking, I remember, uh, <laughs> I remember someone, someone made like some cream corn, and I was like, I'll have a little bit, and I'm eating, and I'm like, I fucking love corn. I'm salivating right now just talking about corn, you know this? I feel like a fucking freak, I feel like a goddamn monster, I'm salivating talking about fucking corn. And I mean just corn. Like, I'm not talking about corn with butter on it or whatever. I mean, of course, butter on corn tastes good, right? But I mean just, like, just corn. But I really just want corn. And not the band. The band's terrible. Only time, only time I will, I will deal with listening to corn. Actually, that's a lie. The band's not that terrible. But, um, only time I will ever deal with listening to corn is... Oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> I forgot you show up here. God damn it. I'm a chef What else should I be? Please don't take off my mask. Reveal.